All right, now in this example, we're going to be converting a Mayan numeral into a Hindu Arabic numeral, our number system. Now, as these number systems go, the Mayans had a little bit of an interesting base system. So first of all, the positions increase in value from the bottom up. And the way you would read these is that you would count this right here as a space. There's an empty space right there. So that's what you'd count this as, is I'm going from this position into another position, into another position, into another position. Okay, cool, but what are the position values? Well, that's the weird thing. Not the values of these symbols, but just what is this position? This position right here would be the ones place, like it seems in all number systems. And then once you get to the second position, we go to the 20s. And then it gets kind of weird. We don't go 20 squared, 20 cubed, 20 to the fourth, and so on right away. In the third position, we wind up with 18 by 20, which is a little strange. But that's what they do. And then the next position, it would be 18 by 20 squared. And the next one, if there was another one, would be 18 by 20 cubed, 18 by, the 20, 18 by 20 to the fourth, and so on, and so on. So it's thought that the reason they use this 18 by 20 is because their calendar actually had 360 days, which is what 18 times 20 is. So kind of a cool little thing about that. So these are our positions, so I'm just going to bracket them off a bit here because some of them get kind of clunky. Now, just like with Babylonian numbers, where we did the value of the symbols multiplied by the position they're in, and just like in our numbers, where we do the value of the number multiplied by the position it's in, remember, even 18 here, that's 8 times 1 plus 1 times 10. So it matters where you position the numbers. It's positional. So how do we read Mayan numerals? Well, it's pretty straightforward. A dot represents just one. And you can have as many as four dots at most. So I'll say it down here, that if you've got dot, 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 that would be four, as long as you fill them in. Now, you would not do five dots. You'd always just do a slash to represent five. And then to go bigger than that, you could say slash with a dot over it for six. And then you just carry on repeating this pattern in order to make all the numbers. Also, as a side note, it's not here, but this would be their symbol for zero if you had nothing in a position. It looks to me a bit like a coffee bean. So let's convert this number right here that we have in front of us. So what is this? Well, I would add up the symbols, and I see that a slash, which is 5, is here. So I've got 5 plus 5 for 10 plus another 5 for 15 plus 3 dots right here. So this right here is 18. I'm going to say 18. I'll use the equal sign as well on each of these symbols. Times the position it's in. It's in the ones place. And now this is going to be 5, just a single slash, times 20. And then right here, I've got 5 plus 5 for 10 plus 1 for 11 in the 18 by 20, or in the 360s place. And then I've got 5, a slash, 6, 7, 8, times 18 by 20 squared in this position right here. Now, you could do this out by longhand, but the numbers are a little large. So the video is going to speed up right quick while I grab my calculator. So now that I have my calculator, we can go ahead and do this number and fit it in here on the board. And so all I'm doing is typing these numbers in. So I'm going to do 8 times 18 times 20 squared. Or you could say times 20 times 20, because that's what squared means. So I'm typing in the number now. And I have 57,600 just for this place right here. Now in the next place, I've got 11 times 18 times 20. So let's do that. 3,960. Now here I've got 5 times 20. That's 100. And 18 times 1. Oh, man. Ah, 18. OK, cool. So there's 18 right there. So now I'm going to add these numbers up. So I'll go ahead and just type it in since the calculator is right here. But you could add this old-fashioned way. 
So I get 57,600 plus 3,960 plus 100 plus 18. And so I'm getting 61,678. So what does that mean? That means that this right here, these symbols arranged this way is how the Mayans would have represented the number 61,678. And that is this example.